In a world where people like to travel huge distances, aircraft are a vital part of our modern way of life. They allow us to cross continents in a matter of hours, but as more people travel, the industry not only needs to look at ways of offering more capacity, but also doing so while significantly reducing the amount of pollution that's released. The latest technologies have enabled aircraft designers to come up with ideas like never before, and by taking a completely different approach are beginning to shape what the industry will look like in the coming years. From fully electric power to redesigned shapes, faster speeds, and entirely new fuels, it's time to take to the skies as we look through 15 plane concepts that will change travel forever. Number 15. Boom Supersonic Only two types of passenger aircraft have ever been capable of flying at supersonic speeds, the Concorde and the Tupolev Tu-144. The Concorde, in particular, remained in commercial operation for more than 25 years, but became renowned for being extremely expensive, and the companies that flew them never actually made their investments back. Since 2001, supersonic passenger travel has been a distant memory, but there's a company that's trying to bring it back. Boom Technology, which was founded in Denver, has raised capital to design and develop a faster-than-sound aircraft of the future, and hope to offer trips to paying customers by the end of the decade. The aircraft that's been credited is called the Boom Overture, and it's capable of reaching speeds up to 1,100 miles an hour, over a range of 4,900 miles. The plane has a delta wing configuration in a similar way to the Concorde, but utilizes latest developments in composite materials to make it tougher and lighter than has ever been possible. Powered by four dry turbofan engines, this slim fuselage has space for up to 90 passengers, and the company has identified as many as 500 routes that it would be viable on. With flight times halved to three and a half hours between New York and London, for example, and fares being around a quarter of what they were on the Concorde, this aircraft truly does have the potential to change worldwide transport forever, or at least for passengers willing to pay a premium price for a much faster service. Number 14. The Craig CR929 the long-haul travel industry has plenty of different operators that compete against one another, but when it comes to the companies that manufacture the aircraft, there are only really two, Boeing and Airbus. They're in a constant battle to provide airlines with types of aircraft they want and to offer features that the other is unable to, but the recent release of a new concept aircraft could be a sign that another manufacturer is about to enter the mix, and if successful, it could change the face of the aircraft industry for good. Craig is a joint venture company that's been set up by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China and the Russian United Aircraft Corporation, and has already begun production of an aircraft based on an early concept that was released called the CR-929. Described as being a long-range, wide-bodied airliner, it's designed to be able to carry between 250 and 320 passengers across a distance of up to 7,500 miles. While the airframe is a completely new design, although clearly influenced by those being made by Boeing and Airbus, the company doesn't yet have a new engine supplier, so will likely need to use the ones produced by General Electric or Rolls-Royce like their competitors do. The CR-929 certainly isn't setting any new standards in commercial aircraft, except for trying to break the hold that the two companies currently have over the industry, and the plan is for this jet to be certified and built for customers by 2025. And when this happens, it's likely that China and Russia will offer beneficial terms to domestic airliners that fly it. It could, therefore, be just a matter of years before the two big players in the industry are usurped by this newcomer, and who knows what effect that would have on the future of travel. Number 13. Boeing Sugar Volt When the Wright brothers first took off into the air, their plane had four wings that were connected together by struts. As material strength has increased since, we've become used to the sight of planes with just two wings. But could it be possible that the brothers had already designed something far more efficient that we'll return to? One of Boeing's latest concept aircraft is the Sugar Volt, and it stands out immediately because of its unusual configuration. Known as a transonic wing design, the wings are actually so thin they need to be supported by a truss that extends from the base of the fuselage and look very similar to the biplanes of the past. By designing the wings like this, Boeing believes that they will consume 8% less fuel than the traditional cantilevered wing jets that are commonplace and could also pave a way for a fully electric plane too. There's virtually no sacrifice in terms of speed either, with a cruising speed of around Mach 0.8, which is about 525 miles an hour, just a bit slower than that of a Boeing 787. The wingspan is also a bit smaller at just 170 feet, and can even be designed to fold up, which would mean the TTBW could use airport gates that are designed for use with much smaller aircraft. Some of the technology required isn't quite ready yet though, so the earliest we might see these in the sky is around 2035. Number 12. SE Aeronautics SE-200 
SE Aeronautics is a startup that's based in the United States, and it's looking to disrupt the aviation industry with some radical designs. In 2021, the first of the company's concepts was released, and it was called the SE 200. It's unlike anything you'll see flying in the skies right now. The two main ideas that were integral to this plane were the importance of it being as low carbon as possible, and also that in the wake of the COVID pandemic, there's a new approach to how cabin air is circulated to prevent any potential spread of airborne diseases on board. A wide-bodied plane can carry as many as 264 passengers and would have a range of about 10,500 miles. Able to reach a speed of just below the sound barrier, it'd be made completely from composite materials and feature a tri-wing configuration, with three wings on each side. These would provide far more lift than a traditional plane design and in turn means that far less fuel needs to be burned during the intense times of takeoff and landing. In all, the company claims the SE200 will reduce fuel consumption by around 70% based on the number of people that can travel across the distance, and it's also claimed to be a safer way to fly. Air isn't recycled, and the plane instead uses a once-through air feed ventilation system. And this design feature, such as the single-piece fuselage, the engine at the rear, and the bladder that stores the fuel above the fuselage, means that it's supposedly less likely to break up in the event of an accident. It significantly reduces the chance of a bird strike or any other object damaging the engine, and it will be able to glide for longer in the air if there's an engine failure before making an emergency landing. Number 11. Surefly eVTOL The difficulty with designing electrically powered aircraft comes down to the weight of the batteries in comparison with the amount of lift that can be produced. This is particularly tricky if you're trying to build a helicopter. Numerous different designs have been attempted, but the one that's made the most progress is the Surefly eVTOL. Originally designed by Workhorse Group, a truck manufacturer, the project has now been taken over by an aerospace company called Moog Incorporated. And while the first prototypes have retained the use of a gas-powered engine, the incorporation of batteries and electric motors means that when the technology is improved to make the elements lighter, it will one day be able to fly fully electrically powered. Looking more like a drone than a traditional helicopter, the quad propeller design allows for precise control and increased stability. Each propeller arm has two electric contra-rotating propellers that are powered by batteries and a piston engine. The engine itself is used to generate electricity, which is then fed into the batteries and then to the motors. Intended to cost around $200,000 when it's released to market, it'll have a maximum speed of 86 miles an hour with a range of about 70 miles. If successful, it could well become an alternative to cars for short-distance transport, and would surely be a much more fun way of traveling, too. Number 10. Wright 1 The future of emission-free aircraft will depend on the distances they're designed to fly, and developers are far closer to creating short-distance designs than long-haul ones. One exciting and unique concept is the Wright 1, named after the Wright brothers. The company called Wright Electric has teamed up with EasyJet, a short-distance budget airline, and created the Wright One, which they say will enter service by 2030 and be fully electrically powered. The single-aisle aircraft will be able to accommodate up to 186 passengers and will have a range of up to 800 miles, which is the approximate distance between New York and Chicago. Upon arrival at the airport, the battery packs will be removable and replaceable, meaning it will have just a quick as turnaround as fuel-powered aircraft, but will be 20% quieter and reduce fuel costs by 20% as well. The range will be more than enough for a large proportion of commercial flights that take place every day, and the reduction of emissions from this part of the travel sector will make a huge impact. The first test flights are expected to take place in 2024, and if everything goes well, it may not be very long until the right one is performing regular flights around the world. Number 9. The Flying V it's not just traditional aircraft manufacturers who are looking to the future with designs, but the airlines are doing it too. In 2019, KLM, the national carrier of the Netherlands, released details of its concept Flying V aircraft that they say will make long-distance air travel more sustainable. They've moved away from the idea of having a fuselage and tail and combined everything together into one superstructure. The shape itself will cut fuel consumption by at least 20% because of the reduced weight and aerodynamic drag, but it'll still retain a 212-foot wingspan like the Airbus A350, which means it'll fit into the gates that airports currently have. The main difference you'll notice is that passengers sit alongside the edge of the wings, which significantly increases the number of people that can be carried at once, or if the airline decided, they would carry the same number of people but with a lot more space for each. The company acknowledges, however, that there are several hurdles that need to be overcome before these will be flying, most importantly, how evacuations would take place in case of an emergency. 
This sent questions over how it would perform during takeoff and landing, particularly if there were crosswinds, means they don't expect to be running these as commercial jets until at least 2040. Number 8. The Hero Zero Created by a New York-based designer, could the Hero Zero be the most accurate prediction of what planes of the future would look like? While it's at its concept stage right now, it uses realistically attainable technologies and design principles that means something like it could well be built within the next 5 or 10 years. It prioritizes efficiency and sustainability and uses electric-powered propellers on the rear of the plane and enlarged swept wings with upturned winglets to provide enough lift. The designer admits that the use of propellers will mean the aircraft's about 20% slower than the jet engine alternatives, but that's surely a sacrifice worth making to eliminate those emissions. In a similar way to how it necessitated new ideas in terms of car design, the presence of heavy batteries on a plane is why the wings have been positioned like they have. With the batteries being built into the aircraft near the propellers, the majority of the weight will be in the back, so the engines are needed there to accommodate for that. As things stand, battery technology should allow an aircraft like this to operate across short and perhaps even medium haul distances, which accounts for the vast majority of flights that take place. If the Hero Zero proves to be successful, though, and with developments of higher capacity and lighter batteries, this still has the potential to be one of the solutions that the aviation industry is looking for in order to clean up their act and at the same time still facilitate travel around the world. Number 7. The Alice Commuter while aircraft designs of the future will mainly focus on how mass passenger transportation will work, there are several companies trying to push forward the designs of private aircraft too. One such manufacturer is the Israeli Aviation Aircraft, who began developing fully electric plane called the Aviation Alice in 2017. 95% of it will be built from composite materials, and it'll have three electrically operated propellers, one at the end of each wing, and one at the rear of the fuselage. It's designed for a capacity of nine passengers, along with the two crew required to fly it, and in theory, it should have a range of 650 miles on one charge. Importantly, however, the operating costs will be significantly cheaper than the equivalent-sized turboprop aircraft, even if you do consider the initial purchase price of $4 million. Aviation also sees this plane as having the potential as an air taxi. Instead of owning it, you'd be able to book a flight using an app and be able to make a quick journey between small airfields. The company has undergone significant testing in recent years, with the first full test flight taking place in late September of 2022. While there are certainly a few major hurdles for the company to overcome before this concept can become a reality, it's looking hopeful. If successful, we could all be flying in these by the end of the decade. Number 6. The Sky Whale Do you remember the first time you flew on a double-decker plane? Even though they've been in operation for many decades, there's still something awe-inspiring about them. And you can always easily spot the massive Airbus A380 anytime you're in an airport where one is parked. If this next concept is anything to go by, however, the A380 could well become one of the small fish in the skies in the next 10 or 20 years. Known as the Awa Sky Whale, it was created by a Spanish designer, and it looks like a cross between a spacecraft from a sci-fi movie and a passenger jet. With three floors for passengers and another for the flight crew, it's absolutely enormous and can carry more than a thousand people on each flight. The design incorporates new materials that allow for self-repairing wings and swivel engines that could allow for near-vertical takeoff, meaning it would be able to travel virtually any airport in the world without being restricted by runway length. Furthermore, it's designed to be extremely efficient and will use hybrid engines to significantly reduce the amount of fuel that's needed. With more passengers and less consumption, if it becomes a reality, it could be the most efficient passenger aircraft ever built. Number 5. Plasma Jet Engines Sometimes technological revolutions need researchers to take a completely different approach, and that's what a team of Chinese scientists have done, and if their initial findings can be built upon, it could lead to incredibly efficient zero-emissions engines. The idea of using a plasma for propulsion isn't entirely new, and it's long been experimented with in spacecraft design. The way it works is by creating plasma within the engines and then using electrical currents to accelerate the ions, which, when expelled from the engines, creates the thrust. There has been limited success with this in space, and it's long been thought impossible on Earth because most designs use xenon plasma, which is nowhere near powerful enough and can't overcome the friction with our planet's atmosphere. This new technique, however, seems to have overcome this problem. The researchers were able to generate a plasma jet by compressing air within the engine and then using a microwave to ionize the air. The only materials necessary to do this are air and electricity, and as such, no harmful emissions are created at all. 
So far, the technique has been used to lift a one kilogram steel ball in a short distance, but with further research, it's believed that it could become viable for use on aircraft, although it will likely be several decades before it's even possible. Number four, Solar Impulse 2. Aircraft are some of the biggest polluting vehicles in the world, and while we're not yet ready to see electrically powered versions transporting passengers between destinations anytime soon, companies are already developing solutions that have been proven in a real-world setting. The most impressive of these is the Solar Impulse 2, which in 2016 became the first solar-powered plane to complete a circumnavigation around the globe. While this feat took 16 months to achieve, work is underway to perfect the design to allow short journeys that take no longer than fuel-based alternatives. The Solar Impulse 2 is 73 and a half feet long and has a wingspan of 236 feet. The reason why the wings are so large is that they're covered with 17,248 photovoltaic solar cells that are able to harness the sun's energy and provide all the power the plane needs to operate. With four electric motors on board that spin the 13-foot diameter propeller, the plane is able to achieve a top speed of around 87 miles an hour, although this reduces to around 37 miles per hour at nighttime to conserve energy before the sun rises again. It's far from being a technology that can be applied across the industry, but it may not be long until solar cells are used to power most of the onboard electronics, which will lead to a massive reduction in the fuel needs of commercial planes. Number 3. Aston Martin Volante Vision Aston Martin, it's a company that's well known for making luxury supercars and providing vehicles to British secret agents, but they too are looking to enter the luxury private aircraft market. But they're not designing personal jets and are instead working on a quadcopter called the Volante Vision VTOL. The acronym stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, and the plan is for it to be fully autonomous and to use hybrid electric propulsion certainly looks the part, and they sure know their customers, targeting this model at what they describe as high rollers that won't be able to afford weight in the traffic queues of the future. The company's CEO said that they're actively looking at ways to help reduce congestion and pollution while increasing mobility, and that air travel is an obvious answer to that once the technology becomes possible. Of course, it's unlikely something like this will be on sale anytime soon, as it's proving difficult to create safe autonomous vehicles for the road, let alone ones that have to consider the three dimensions for air travel. Vehicles like this will one day become a reality, though, and if the ideas being presented by companies like Aston Martin are even a small insight into the future of transportation, then it's very exciting indeed. Number 2. Aurora D8 First proposed by Aurora Flight Sciences, which is a research subsidiary of Boeing, along with aviation engineers from MIT and Pratt & Whitney, the Aurora D8 is a wide-body jet airliner concept that's not only designed to reduce the amount of fuel that's used, but will also be far more comfortable for passengers and be much easier for airline operators to turn around at airports to maximize the amount of use they get from each one. It has what's called a double bubble or side-by-side -side fuselage that's almost twice as wide as aircraft like the 747, but it's able to be much shorter. The wider cabin is much easier to handle for flight crews and also has the added advantage of providing additional lift along with the nose section, which allows for smaller wings and therefore less drag. The engines are being placed at the rear to also make use of an effect called boundary layer ingestion and reduces inefficiencies that can be caused by it, which further result in less power and fuel being needed. Despite being able to reach speeds of around 580 miles an hour with a range of up to 3,500 miles, the Aurora D8 is expected to have between 50 and 70 percent less fuel burn than a similar sized jet like the Boeing 737-800. The extra width will also mean it's a much stabler ride. While the days of turbulence won't quite be over yet, it'll feel like a mild inconvenience. With funding from NASA, the company hopes that a half-sized demonstrator will be airborne imminently, and if all goes to plan, it could well be a viable aircraft model that's in commercial operation by the early 2030s. Number 1. Airbus Zero E the only electric planes to actually be able to fly useful distances with anything other than gas power are able to do so by significantly reducing their weight, adding huge arrays of solar panels, and by traveling extremely slowly. This, of course, isn't anywhere near what electric-powered aircraft need to be like to enter commercial use, but Airbus believes this will be possible by the 2030s. They're so sure that they've already developed and announced their concept ideas for what they call the Airbus Zero E, a passenger jet that produces no emissions whatsoever. Instead of storing all the energy that they need on board, they are instead hydrogen-powered and will have a highly efficient array of hydrogen fuel cells on board. 
The gas itself will be stored at high pressure in cylinders along the fuselage and could only require small battery packs to store excess charge just in case there's an emergency. According to the company's projections, the turbofan design could be able to carry 200 passengers up to 2,000 miles, which would mean it could potentially replace gas-guzzling planes on the majority of domestic and nearby international routes across the globe. Uh, there still needs to be proof that hydrogen power is safe on aircraft because it's notoriously flammable, and the airline manufacturer also needs to vastly improve the efficiency of current hydrogen fuel cell technology before these concepts are viable. It's definitely the goal, though, and within a couple of decades, this technology could be powering all of the new aircraft entering the skies. I'll see you next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.